Hey guys, welcome back to Dean's Sanctuary today for another alcoholic beverage review. Today I've got my second Chinese beer to um, try today. It's um, the Sing Tao Chinese Lager. Yeah, and I, as I kind of probably said when I um, done the um, Chang's review, and actually I was, I actually really like that beer actually, and and I had heard of his prior to that, so I was eager to try um, this particular um, actual beer itself and. Um, as I was saying, as I, as I had a pretty good experience in that Chang's, I thought I'll give this a try anyway. I had been meaning to do another Chinese beer review, so... Yeah, um, anyway guys, yeah, it's a Sing Tao, and excuse my pronunciation, I could be getting it a bit muddled up, I'm not quite sure. I haven't actually heard anyone say the actual name itself, like verbally. Yeah, Chinese Lager since 1903. And I like the bottle design, it's a nice looking, unique bottle, I like its logo, the green and gold red colours with a blue... Ocean and sea in its label. Anyway, guys, that's a bottle itself. That's the back of it there, just a green strip label with a bit of writing on it. It's got the red cap on it, red and gold cap. Yeah, so nice colours, nice logo and label, and simple but still attractive enough. Like I just like the colours, if nothing else, and green bottle. So yeah, guys, it'll be interesting. Just what do we got here? I just read a bit of information about what it says. If you didn't get it through the camera, Sing Tao since 1903. Brewed and bottled by Sing Tao Brewery Co. Ltd. in China. 330 mils this one is and it's what is it four point no oh, I got it down here somewhere four point five percent alcohol so pretty light not too not too heavy not too strong no oh, it's got seeing towel there on the bottle there it's just got the Chinese writing on the back there imprinted into the bottle itself yeah first review in the for a while in the car guys back again thought I'd try to do it Go back to my old roots, do it in the car for five minutes again. Don't mind doing it out here, so I get good lighting sometimes. In the afternoon, it might be a bit bright at the sun glaring down on the camera, but overall, it's usually passable to do a video. But anyway, nothing else left to do, and yeah, guys, not a um, twist cap, um, um, cap. Unfortunately, it's a just it's a typical. You got to use a bottle cap opener to open it up with, which is annoying, but anyway. Actually lost my bottle cap open just trying to do the video, so I was, I'm about half an hour behind. It took me about half an hour to find where I put the thing. <laughs> Alright. No, pretty usual taste. Nothing, nothing real sweet or too bitter about it. Kind of a plain sort of um, nose, but no, nothing to really chuck a party about or anything. Anyway, I'll pour it out and see what we get from that. That's the liquid itself. It's got a nice thick head on it. I don't mind the head, nice thick wide head. It's well, it's nothing too thick, but it's a nice. It's pretty, it's reasonable. Lightish liquid. Pretty bubbly. Yeah, quite bubbly actually. It's got a real dry nose. Actually, even taste wise, it's a bit that way as well. A little plain. It's drinkable, it's nice. Maybe it's because it's a rice beer. I'm not sure if, um, if a Chang's was as well being Chinese. I'm not quite sure, but I know this is a rice beer. Maybe I'm not used to rice beers. Maybe that's just the flavour of them. I'm not quite sure, but a little, little plain for my liking. But it's drinkable. It's definitely not harsh or horrid in any way or anything. Carbonation's um, average. 
wouldn't say it's too bad. Also, one thing about it, it's not very bitter at least. There's no bitter um, aftertaste. You can feel a little bit on the throat going down, but nothing too bad. Anyway, guys, I'll read a bit about it and quickly get through that. <coughs> of course, it's an international beer here in Australia. It's Chinese. 4.5% alcohol, as I said, it's from China. It's from the Tsingtao Brewery Company. China's most of, um, famous beer, apparently. And as I said, I know it's famous. Well, when I say famous, it's well recommended out in this country, apparently. Even in front of the Changs, I think, a Chinese beer. As I've said probably before even in that video, I don't know much about Chinese beer guys, so I'm kind of a bit new to it myself really. But one thing I do know, it's pretty popular in this country but by people of all ages. They, the value for money so so, it's it's, it's average to good, it's nothing to complain about. But the taste is actually rated even a bit, like the enjoyment's rated even a bit higher again, so it's definitely not hated or disliked or anything. I find it a bit plain myself, but... Excuse me, but um, it's drinkable. Maybe it's just Chinese beer. I, I, you have to kind of get used to them. I'm, I'm not too sure, but it's drinkable. It's just maybe just different. Maybe you just have to get used to it. I, I'm not sure. But. Yeah, anyway, guys, I just got this by itself as a single bottle. It's three ninety at the local bottle shop, which I think is reasonable price. Didn't actually check how much it was in a six pack. Sorry, guys, but. I can imagine what might be about twenty odd dollars or so. I'd imagine, but anyway, yeah. Got to remember it's imported, so you're gonna be paying a bit extra. It's look, it's got a lot of hop presence. You can definitely taste them. It's got it's a little bit. It's got a real, real light sweet aftertaste, but it's barely noticeable. There's just nothing that jumps out at you about this beer, really. It's really, really light. Back of, pardon, um, pardon lack of, um, about a bit of lack of, um, lack of better expression, but yeah, it's a bit watery. It's almost like drinking pretty much water, really, but... Probably why I'm getting through it so much fast, but... As I probably said like 20 times already, it's deadly drinkable. I'd say the best drunk chilled. I've drank it cold, but just more as that um, fridge, normal fridge temperature. I'd say the best probably chilled. You'd probably be able to enjoy it the best. Some of those drinks spread probably has to be time um, enjoy it under the right conditions. I've heard it's enjoyed with seafood pretty well. Most Asian cuisine, so most Asian food. Which I can understand because it's a very light drink, so you can understand probably it would be good with a meal, some as a side, you know, as a drink with a side dish. That's a bit goody. Oh, and one thing I've actually, I did write down, I've heard about, it's actually quite good for people with, um, celiac, how you pronounce it, and, um, um, gluten intolerance. So, yeah, for actually people with quite those conditions, I've read it's actually quite a good beer to drink, so, that's something. I've noticed it doesn't have much of a, um, bloating effect. Oh, excuse me, I, I get reflux and that easy, but I've, no, I've, I've noticed it, does, it has real loading, um, low, um, bloating effects coming from it. So that's one good thing about it. It's definitely good for people with indigestion or anything. As I said, there's virtually no bitterness, bitterness, so it's an easy drink. It's just, I think it's just a bit plain for my liking, but I'd probably even rate the Chang's actually a bit higher. So I'm one of a few actually goes in the other direction. I prefer the Chang's probably over this, but everyone's there, right? Yeah, and I also read it, guys, it's from um, the water they use in the drink itself, so I'm um, 
Mount La um, Laoshan, how you pronounce that in China, so it's an interesting little fact. Yeah, it's a crisp flavour overall, it's, it's, it's pleasant, but there's nothing real substantial about it. It's just very mild. But at the same time, it's smooth. Like I say, it's not harsh or anything, so it's enjoyable for sure. When I say enjoyable, it's, you can enjoy it, you just don't expect very much sweetness or anything like that, really. There's just no way out. There's just no real outstanding flavours, I don't believe. And maybe that's rice beer, so... If you're a fan of those kind of drinks here, it's probably nice enough and for sure, more than drinkable, but... It's not my type of drink, I'll... I'll say, but, you know, that's me personally anyway. As usual, I, I urge everyone to rec I recommend everyone to try... You know, something, at least once. <laughs> Even if I'm sitting here spitting it out sort of thing, you may as well try it all yourselves. You have the same effect, or you might love the stuff. Um, not much else to say, guys. Really, kind of covered everything already. Only had eleven minute review already, so. Far. <laughs> yes. Anyway, for the price, yeah, it's definitely buy. But like, it's it's enjoyable. I don't think it's expensive, and most others are what I've heard about. Um. Enjoy the price as well. Some complain a bit, but I think, as I've said before in other videos, most will complain about even having to pay probably five cents. So, <laughs> there's no point going there, really. Well, that's all the bottle, guys. Got through that pretty quick. <laughs> well, overall, what I buy it again. Yes, but only if it was, um, oh, well, it was cheap enough as it is, but only if you know, they were giving it away for like five cents special or something. Otherwise, probably not. Only because I'm first time with a bit more punch, a bit more flavour, and it's a bit on the weak side for my liking anyway, scale, for my liking anyway. I prefer something a bit more punch, you know, strength, and a bit more flavoursome as well. But I'm eager to try these Chinese beers as I have now, it's my second one now, so they've been experiences if nothing else. I think you probably love, like the bottle more than anything else. <laughs> anyway, guys, yeah, there's nothing really else much to say, really, except I've been repeating myself. So, anyway, that's it. has been the Sing Tao Beer Chinese Lager from China, of course. So, anyway, yeah, you might as well get out and try it if you want to try, try your Chinese beers. It's, it's good quality beer, I'll say that much. It's, got, it's just very weak. That's the best way to probably describe it, but it's drinkable, so. You know, you might as well give it a go and if you can find it, which I think is, it's pretty commonly available, I think, this one. I have never had it, obviously, as I said before myself, but it's, it's readily, readily sorry, available from what I've seen, so. Yeah, guys, anyway, that's all for me. Yeah, get out and try it, and I got the, um, oh, whatever I got. I've got a champagne coming up next. I'll shoot that video in a couple of days' time, so I'll probably be uploading three or four days' time at the most. It's Lance in the brand or something. It's one of those little midi, midi type, um, or mini type, um, um, bottles they come in. So, yeah, it should be an interesting experience. I've never actually drank champagne before as well, so it would be something new. So, anyway, that's what's coming up next. So, that's all for me, you guys. Now, stay safe and stay tuned, and I'll catch us all next time. <laughs>